Hi everybody, Dr. Mack here at PacificEastAquaculture.com. It's been a little while since I've shown you what's going on out here in the greenhouse, so I thought I'd do a quick tour. So we grow thousands of frags every year. This tank has a lot of our acro. Sorry about the glare there. These are just under natural sunlight out here. These are the, you could call them mother colonies if you like. Some of these have been here for quite a number of years and we just keep taking frags from them. And these are some of the frags in this area from those. Let's see, we have scrolling turbinarias and leptoceras. These are various pasilloporas in this area, damacornis, varicosa. We have bird's nests here. These are styloforas, assorted different colors of styloforas. There's pink, yellow, purple polyp. Quite a few styloforas in there. This is a mix of different SPS here, so we have styloforas, a few bird's nests, pasilloporas. These are some Montes over here. I believe that's uh, Grinch and the Blood Pool. These are some more Sunset, Reverse Sunset Montes. More Acro Frags over here. Those are all Acro Frags growing out there. Uh, let's see, over here we have Encrusting Parites, Scrolling Turbinarias. Various chalices. That's Pachycerus or elephant skin there. More chalices, lots of chalices in this tank. So part of the tank over here gets a little more natural sunlight, although it is shaded. And then in this area, it's double shaded. Here we have two layers of blue shade cloth, one outside and one inside during the summer. So that's the chalices and those type of corals in there. Then this tank has uh, mostly favias, favites, corals like that, platygyra brains. We also have Havona maldivensis. And as I said, lots of different brain corals in here, goniastrias, favias, favites. Then at this end we have Samacoras and Cyphastrias. Quite a few different ones in there. This tank has a mix of different corals. There are some fancy mushrooms there. A few leathers here that's uh, Sympodium. Some of our combination pieces over there. Got Halamita. And then this is a mix of uh, quite a few different corals in here. Favias, Favites, these are all different colored war corals. Some more chalices. There's some more uh, larger pieces that are growing out of chalices and Favias and Favites. Lithophylons in this area. Star polyps. And then this tank also gets some natural sunlight on this end. That's where we keep the clams. We have clams here. And we have leathers. Actually just did, I think it's 150 leather frags this weekend. And here are some more of the grown out leathers. More monoporas. Those are some of our um, Rainbow Flames, Acroporas back there, and a bunch of different types of Monoporas. Pulsing Xenias, various Zoanthids in this area. We have some of our um, sponge out here as well, the purple plating sponge. And then in this area, under the overhang here, so you can see we have a bit of an overhang here, we have uh, 
um, inverts in, the, in some of these baskets, emerald crabs, coral banded shrimp pears. And then we have a variety of different corals in here. There's all sorts of things, chalices, leptocirruses, leather coral colonies that are regrowing, mushrooms, and these are all the Acan lords out here. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of what we have out in the greenhouse. Again, this area is all shaded natural sunlight. And then this area under the overhang does have some basic LEDs, real basic LEDs, because there still is a good amount of sunlight that comes in that area. So that's outside in our greenhouse. I'll do another video in a couple of days inside. We have a lot of corals in there. You can see the areas where the acros are not shaded at all, so it's all natural sunlight. We use geothermal for heating and cooling, so we have several 250 foot wells, and that's how we maintain the temperature, 78 degrees year round. So if you have any questions, let me know. Again, it's pacificeastaquaculture.com. Take care.